does inflation really matter? Does it matter to the saver? Does it matter to the investor? Does it matter to anyone? I just want to illustrate 30 years of uh, decline in purchasing power over the US dollar. Let's assume a 6% inflation rate. If you set aside $10,000 at a 6% rate of inflation, you've lost $600. You're about $9,400 in purchasing power at the end of your first year. At the end of your 10th year, you still have about $5,300 purchasing power. And at the end of 30 years, you have $1,500. You've lost 85% of your purchasing power with a 6% rate of inflation. This is why it has made so much more sense for the average American to spend rather than save. To survive the inflation and make ends meet, the US middle class has taken on the greatest debt load in US or world history. The government has killed the US middle class with inflation and taxes. Americans will live with high and rising inflation for the rest of their lives. And to survive and prosper over the next 10 to 20 years, they must have the majority of their assets out of a depreciating dollar and at least a portion in gold or silver. When considering gold and inflation, remember that in 1980, gold peaked at 875. But in 1980, inflation adjusted got dollars, gold would have to reach 21 to 2200 dollars uh, to be at that 1980 high. In the $650 range, gold is still very cheap. We're basically watching a generational repricing, just like we had in the 1970s. The market asked, how high should gold be? What, what is a realistic value for the, for the commodity after being undervalued for nearly 30 to 40 years? And the market finally found that level at 450. Our view is that it'll find a new plateau somewhere in the $1,200 to $1,500 range after a significant spike to maybe two to three times that level. Other factors impacting the gold market, we see a growing supply and demand disparity. As I mentioned, the, the, the supply issues in South Africa and in Australia, while the supply uh, or the demand side uh, in, in, in China and globally is on the rise. Uh, sharply rising jewelry demand. The rise of the exchange traded funds. This is a price proxy for the metals themselves. They trade like stocks and give access to the gold and silver market to institutions, to hedge funds, uh, and to a number of other players who would otherwise take no interest in, in gold or silver. It gives them a, a liquid vehicle and, and access to the price, not the metal itself, uh, but a proxy for it. That, that is increasing uh, demand sig significantly. Explosive global commodities demand, and we also see the gold oil ratio which is currently favorable to gold. As I said, 16 to 1 typically, and it's about 10 to 1. It actually got as low as 6 to 1 two years ago. And I had several clients who, who had portfolios that were, you know, of, let's say of a million dollar portfolio, stock portfolio, 750,000 of it was in oil. At a 6 to 1 ratio, they should have been looking to gold, period. No questions asked. At a 10 to 1 ratio, it still favors the gold over the oil. And between 12 to 15, now it's, now it's Pick, pick, your, pick, pick whichever you choose. 